is a work of fiction, which has been devised by Satan under you know the, the rulerships of Esau, the so-called white man, uh, from his rulership in power from the Renaissance periods, man. Okay, this is this is where, where where we get this from. Okay, this is nothing but white supremacy, man. Okay, and that lie, that spell needs to be broken. Okay. But back to the scriptures, right? Because this is what the scriptures say about the Lord. Okay, which is the only verifiable description of the Lord. Okay, and this is the only thing we can really go by. Okay, this is Revelation chapter 1 verse 13. It says, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one light, one light unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about, about the pats with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were like were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Okay, so it tells you here, the Lord's hair was white, it was like wool, okay, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Okay, he had hair like the sheep's wool, man. Okay, not, not, not the shaggy, shaggy long hair type of hair. The Lord never had long hair. Okay, he never had no long hair. Okay, we know that because we know that's against the scriptures. For a man to have long hair, it's a, it's, a, it's a shame for a man to have long hair. So no, we didn't have long, long hair, man. Looking like a girl. Okay. It says, um, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many wars. Okay, so his feet like unto fine brass. When you go into that, really is speaking about bronze. Okay. Which is a, a, a brownish, okay, you know, yellowish copper, because I think it's combined with, um, is it copper and, and, some, and some other metals, right? Bronze, right? So, you know, it's a brownish color, okay, right? And then it says, as if they burned in the furnace. So this was like as if it was burnt, okay? So the appearance of this bronze would have been dark. Okay, and and his voice as the sound of many wars. Okay, so that's that's the description that we got. That's the description that we got to run with. Okay, this isn't this isn't a a pro black movement that we're in. Okay, this is this is pro truth. Pro Israelite. Okay, if the Lord didn't look like a so-called dark-skinned man, and the scriptures told you that, then he wouldn't be. We wouldn't be teaching that. But the fact of the matter is, is that he is, because this is what was written of him. This is the revelation, the revealing of the Lord. First chapter. This is what his appearance is, man. Okay, so we run with whatever the scriptures run with, man. The truth. Okay. And you have to, you have to accept the truth, man. You have to bow down to the truth. Okay, whatever it is, it might not be what you want it to be, man. But it is what it is, man. You have to deal with that. Okay, people coming up arguing about does it matter why this and why that. Well, if it didn't, if it didn't matter, it wouldn't be written. If it wasn't of importance, it wouldn't be written. The things that are written aforetime are written for our learning. Okay? So these things are important, man. Because at the end of the day, people need to know the truth. Our people need to know the truth. Okay? But it helps. The fact that the Lord, the Lord is a so-called dark-skinned man helps with the fact that, you know, Jake needs to know that the Lord... Is of is like them and not some not some so called white man because this is just like I said it's just white supremacy that our people are, just, are under. You so called Negroes man, Hispanics and, and, and Native Americans we're under that vibration of, of of white supremacy man and it's important to, to destroy that spell that we're under man because we're believing that the so called white man is God out here, 
that he is all things bright and beautiful out here and he is the exact opposite of those things. Okay, the Lord is 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 of us, man. Okay, he is of us, man. He he is our, our brother, man, our our king, our Lord, from our people. Okay, his image is 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 the is the superior image. Okay? Because this is not even about us, it's not even about our image, man. We're we're pieces of shit. But the Lord's image is is the superior image upon the earth. Okay, but if the if the image that they're portraying is a so-called white man, then that's saying that's the superior image, man. Okay, which is which is not. Okay, so it's important for our people to know that, because you know, the, our people always looking for some, some 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 kind of role model. You know, that's why you know we're pushing any anything we can grab our hands. We're pushing it. Someone some black person does well, or automatically he's a star and he's a role model. Everyone should look up to him and do what he's doing. Oh yeah, Black Panther. Is it clinching onto straws, man? Jay is clinching onto straws to any any anything good that's black. You know, it's just, it is ridiculous at the end of the day, man. Because these guys ain't nothing. These role models, these superstars, these are, these people are nothing, man. They're not helping our people one bit. Okay, but the Lord, well, he's the ultimate role model, man. That you know that our people are supposed to be aspiring to, man. But they can't do that when they know this guy ain't for them, man. Because they could never be white. A so-called white. Okay? But knowing that the Lord is 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 like them, just like them, you know, because, you know, so black people are hated in this world, despised. Okay? Ridicule, you know, Proverbs and Bible for days. But, you know, to know that the Lord is... is it's just like us and he, he is the superior being for his people over the whole earth then that that's man you it's not a better role model you could have man okay so yeah it's important for our people to know man to, to break that spell that spell of white supremacy man you know but anyway let's let's move on let's move on okay so lord by the scriptures the lord is, is described as a so-called dark skinned man Okay, and that's that's just that's just the fact. At the end of the day, man, people want to argue, man. You can argue all day. Doesn't matter. Oh, he was Middle East and this, that, the other. At the end of the day, they're all opinions, and your thoughts, and you know, they don't matter. Okay, what matters is what's written in the scriptures. Okay, but is 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 a point as well. It's Matthew twenty four, chapter twenty four, verse twenty four. Right, it says for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show show. show through great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. Okay, so it was already spoken of. This is prophesied that there would, there would come many Christs and uh, false Christs and prophets and stuff like that. Okay, but surely knowing how the Lord, surely knowing the most, the most you could be uh, know about the Lord would help you uh, discern who is false and who is not. Okay, people already been. Uh, been uh, deceived by the doctrine of the scriptures of the Lord, okay, and they've been deceived of how he looks too, and how he's you know coming back, what he's coming back to do, and so on and so forth. So these people out here are fully deceived, man. The only people that are not deceived are the elect, and now the elect they know that they know a lot of things. They're not ignorant. They're not trying to be ignorant. They're trying to know as much truth as possible. They care about what the truth is, rather than just say, oh, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, people are going to be, well, people are being dece deceived out here. But, you know, in the time to come, you you ain't going to know what's going on. Okay, so, yeah, it's important that we know the name of the Lord. We know what he looks like. We know what his doctrine is. We know how we, how he's coming back and how he's going to do that. You know, what, is, what, is, what he's going to do when he comes back. Okay, that, that, they're all very important things to know, surely. That you can take one look and say, oh, that's the Lord. You know. And it's exactly because it's exactly how the scriptures described it. For you not to care means you're open, you're open to deception, man. You're you're open to false Christ. Okay, which the majority of people have already accepted. Okay, but the elect, they shan't be deceived, man. 
Okay. And Lord willing, if we endure into the end, we continue in these scriptures like we've been told to do, man. Lord, we will be, we'll be of that number, man. The, the brothers in GMS out there that, you know, out there in the highlands, barriers that know this and teach these things, man. That teach the truth. Okay. And stand up against false ways. Because you people out here that are claiming to know God and, and, and the Son and all that kind of stuff, they go to the churches and that. You're not, you're not, you're not fighting against false ways, man. You're, you're fighting, you know, for false ways. You know, you not caring is you just saying, oh, fuck it, I ain't trying to fight. <laughs> you know, I ain't trying to say that. You know, and that's not what we're here to do, man. We're here to, to dispel lies, man. That That is your job. That's what you're meant to do. Okay, dispel the lies, man. Teach the truth. Okay, not just, oh, we'll agree to disagree kind of shit. You know, oh, I don't need to, he, you know, he's saying something, but I don't care if, it, you know, that, that's not how it's supposed to be, man. Okay. But, um, yeah, next scripture. This is John chapter 7, verse 38, right? It says, He that believe on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay, so you got to believe it as the scripture saith, man. Believe on the Lord as the scripture say. Okay, and yes, that's not just how he looks, but that's also his doctrine. Okay, but these people just want to focus about one thing, the doctrine of the Lord, which they don't understand. Okay, so they have no, they have nothing else. Okay, so he that believe on me as the scripture said, what did we just read in Revelations? He has white, woolly hair, feet like burnt brass. Okay, golden girdle. Okay, loud voice, red eyes. Okay, that's what the Lord looks like. Okay, deal with it. That's what he looks like. That's the image of the Lord. Deal with it, man. Okay. So only those that believe in, in the Lord, as the scriptures say, can, can receive that, man. Okay. So this is uh, Isaiah verse 8, verse chapter 8, verse 20. It says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Okay. There's no light. There's no truth in you, man. You're not speaking according to what the scriptures say. There's no light in you. Okay. You're in darkness, man. You, you've been overcome by it deceit okay and if you want to remain ignorant you want to stay in that darkness man but if you repent okay it may be that you may be saved okay and that, that is a uh, you know our only job at here to do is to teach man and, and you know get our people to repent those that the lord has chosen man because like I said, not everybody shows us for this thing so, not every, so the majority of people are not going to repent they're going to re remain ignorant willingly Okay. But um last one we'll end it. Okay, Psalms chapter 119, verse 128. Right, it says here, therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right. All the precepts to all things. Okay? And I hate every false way. Okay, that's why we're out here telling you about what the Lord looks like, because you don't know what he looks like. You not caring is you not caring about falseness. You're happy. You don't care if it is true or false. But the Lord's about truth, man. We're about truth. Okay, we're not here to, to discuss, you know, f falseness. We're here to destroy falseness, man. You know, so that takes people being diligent to go into the scriptures and, and, and properly search out. Okay, which the majority of people don't want to do. They're lazy. Okay, they don't, they don't they want to tell you a thousand a thousand of their opinions concerning the scriptures, but they never they ain't gone into the scriptures properly. Okay, and that's that's not how things work, man. 